Hello, I am Ahmad and in this video we are going to talk about designing required reinforcement for taking the bending moment of a concrete beam. Usually first we need to calculate what is the design value of bending moment according to the standard that we are using and after that when we calculate all the loads coming to the beam then we need to calculate what is the maximum bending moment. In this video we are going to cover how to design a beam under a design value of bending moment according to Eurocode. So in the previous video, we covered the uh, bending moment resistance. One option is just uh, writing a code and adding the reinforcement and check if the um, design value is less than the uh, resistance that is one option it's it's uh, most likely to be used these days but if uh, you are more interested to how to calculate the required reinforcement we can continue with the same principle but this time area of the steel is in question assume that your beam is under design value of bending moment med and we are going to determine what is the required reinforcement in the tension side. Again, in this example, we assume that the compressive reinforcement has very minor effect on the bending moment capacity. Here I sketch the compressive reinforcement, but we do not consider it for the calculation. What do we have from the previous mm -hmm. videos? We know that MRD was mu times FCD times BD square. And mu was beta times 1 minus beta divided by 2. And omega or beta was AS divided by B times D, F by D divided by FCD. So these are the things that we had and also beta BD which was 0 0.493 for FYK equals to 500 megapascal. So these are the base equations that uh, we can calculate based on our needs. So this time we are not going to calculate MRD. Instead, we assume that we have MED and then we are going to calculate what is the required reinforcement. In that case, first of all, we need to see if the cross-section dimensions are capable of taking the design bending moment only with the reinforcement intention. In the previous example, we noticed that if we increase the reinforcement, then at some point the uh, bending moment capacity cannot be increased and the reason was that if we go beyond that value then we uh, might face the failure of the beam due to crashing of the concrete in that case we are limiting our calculation to a value which is related to balance reinforcement and it is presented by beta bd so when we are designing the beam uh, first we need to check what is this limit what is the maximum bending moment capacity that this beam can withstand only on the basis of tension reinforcement so for that we call it m r d c if we look at the equation f c d is constant b d s squared these are constant and the only thing is mu that can be changed. So if we call it MRDC or the maximum bending moment that the uh, concrete can withstand, I call this mu BD because this is related to beta BD. And mu BD is beta BD times 1 minus beta BD divided by 2. So if the steel is FYK 500, and if we substitute a beta BD 0 0.493, then this value will be 372. So in other words, if we calculate 
bending moment capacity according to this mu BD, it means that if we increase the reinforcement and the mu approaches to mu BD, then MRDC cannot be increased. For example, assume that uh, uh, we have MED to be 250 kN meter and then MRDC the maximum bending moment capacity of the concrete beam without compressive reinforcement is let's say 300 kN meter just example so in this case we can see that we can increase the reinforcement in a way that this 250 kN meter can be taken by the tensile reinforcement so in this case tensile reinforcement would be enough but if for example MED is 400 kN meter is greater than this 300 kN meter so in this case we can see that with only tensile reinforcement we cannot take the entire bending moment we might have some options here for example using better concrete class or increasing beam dimensions so b and h this is better if we increase more than the other one or we can check if by reasonable compressive reinforcement the beam can take med so these are options that we can check so the first step if you have the design bending moment is checking if design bending moment is less than the maximum bending moment that uh, the concrete beam without any compressive reinforcement can take just writing the formulation of how to deal with that the first step determine the MRDC maximum bending moment capacity of concrete beam without compressive reinforcement then if MED is less than MRDC then compressive reinforcement is not needed so we can take the design bending moment by enough tensile reinforcement coming back to our equation uh, we have now MED and the equation of moment is constant and this mu is this time unknown and we are going to calculate this mu so from here we calculate mu which is med divided by fcd times b times d square and we check that this mu is less than mu bd just to ensure that everything or cross check our former calculation and now from here if we come back to the base equations now we have mu we are looking for beta let's solve this with the uh, basic mathematic equation mu is beta times 1 minus beta divided by 2 then beta s square minus 2 beta plus 2 mu is 0 so beta will be 2 plus minus s square root of 4 minus 8 mu divided by 2 so it will be 2 plus minus 2 a square root of 1 minus 2 mu divided by 2 and it will be 1 plus minus so beta is a s divided by b d times f by d divided by f c d so here this is t and this is a part of compressive uh, force of concrete is fcd times b times lambda x if we remember so fcd times b is cc divided by lambda x if i substitute it here it will be d times cc divided by lambda x and here d and cc are the same so it will be lambda x divided by d always lambda x is less than d as a result beta needs to be less than 1 so for this reason this cannot be the solution as a result beta can be written as 1 minus s square root of 1 minus 2 mu 
So if we calculate mu from step number three, then at step number four, we can calculate beta. After that, step number five, beta is AS divided by BD, FYD divided by FCD. From here, we need to calculate AS. This is called AS required. This is the required reinforcement for the calculation for this beam based on that design bending moment that we have. Now we need to check the detailing and for this AS minimum needs to be calculated. So AS minimum is according to the uh, Euro code maximum of 0 0.26 FCTM divided by F by K and 0 0.0013 times B times D. FCTM we can find it in table 3.1 in your code. If you are writing a code, you can nicely add this statement FCTM from this analytical uh, equations. Also, if you have the concrete class greater than C5060, then here you need FCM and FCM can be calculated from the earlier row equation. So then AS will be the maximum value between AS required and AS minimum. Then you need to check, for example, what is VS you are going to use and then also calculate the number of reinforcement. Let's go through MATCAD and write down a nice code for this part. So we have V, we have H, nominal cover, we just assume to keep it and uh, let's go with 20 millimeter and uh, number of reinforcement is now in question so we do not have it but instead we have the bending moment design bending moment and here med is let's say for now 250 kilonewton meter so in our calculation up to here, they are the same, but this time we do not have reinforcement. Instead, we are looking for that. Also, we need to calculate what is the minimum reinforcement. Minimum reinforcement. So A S minimum equals to maximum of 0 0.26 times F C T M divided by F by K and 0 0.0013 times b times d here we can see that it doesn't know what fctm is then here we can calculate fctm according to the given equation it's better if uh, you want to have a good code write it for the all cases so here you can add a if clause so if it is less than C5060 or let's say if FCK is less than or equal to 50 megapascal, then it will be 0 0.3 FCK power by 2 third. So here 0 0.3 times FCK power by 2 third. So one thing important here is that when you are writing this type of code you would expect fctm to be in megapascal but here if you solve it fctk is megapascal power by two third it is something that we really don't want to have it so the best idea is just get rid of the uh, unit in that case and then add this unit instead then you can add also another case just another line else if it doesn't happen, then this equation 2.12 times ln 1 plus FCM divided by 10, FCM divided by 10. Again, we use the same method, but here we can see that FCM is now unknown. FCM is FCK plus 8 megapascal. So now we have AS minimum according to our procedure. We calculated AS minimum and we need to calculate also AS required. For that, 
let's coming back to the step number one determine mrdc mrdc is determined according to mu bd so here mu bd is beta bd times one minus beta bd divided by two 3.371 and then here we can calculate the concrete maximum bending moment resistance it is always good to write without compressive reinforcement m r d c equals to mu b d times f c d times b times d square we had it 300 something that uh, we calculated in the other case 372 kN meter according to this information now this is 370 and we can see that med is less than that value so here for example if you don't want to calculate further for this one you can write down a statement that the status one for example then you write down here that if you can use the programming from here if uh, med is less than or equal to mrdc then compressive reinforcement is not required and then you can write down otherwise or else then you can write down that uh, with only tensile reinforcement the beam does not withstand the bending moment or something similar that you know so this is a status number one you can write down to see if it's fine and then uh, continue so if med is less than that and if the status is uh, is correct or okay then you just need to calculate the required mu so here mu will be med divided by fcd times b times d s square and you check if mu is less than mu bd so if it is one it means that the statement is correct then from here we can calculate beta and so now we are looking for as if you have beta then you can calculate as from here so as as required is beta times bd times fcd divided by fyd so here is what we need and then we need to calculate what is the number or the required number of reinforcement if we are using uh, a certain diameter of the reinforcement for example here v20 then we are going to calculate what is the required before that we need to write down that as is the maximum value between as required and as minimum so in this case for sure it is the design value but for example for the slabs usually we go with the as minimum if if it is not very uh, heavily loaded then number or the required number of reinforcement will be as divided by pi bs s square divided by four so here we can see that we need to go with five at the end we can select how many reinforcement do we need so here is the required so here we can go what is the required and then here we can take what is the number for example here we can go with five if you want you can change it to more than this and then 5t20 is the answer for for this example and also it is better if we check our status that this is valid and we could use this one compressive reinforcement is not required and here we can just close this part to check uh, just the results for example let's increase the bending moment to something which is not uh, taking this load 500 for example here you can see that with only tensile reinforcement the beam does not withstand the bending moment or we have to modify our code but 250 then 4.84 and that's quite fine 
that's how we need to write the code and how to calculate the required reinforcement one thing that is very important especially in detailing we will go through this later for the uh, detailing part so here with this value we calculated we need 5t20 and then we need to sketch for example uh, that we have enough space and everything is fine uh, but one thing that is important is as required that we needed at the end was if we come back to here and we write down a s s square millimeter so a s that we needed was 15 20 s square millimeter now a s provided so we cannot find out exactly 15 20 square millimeter we are using 5 t 20 which is 5 pi 20 millimeter s square divided by 4 so a s provided is 15 71 square millimeter the important point here is the steel is not yield uh, we have a steel more than what we require so here you can see that what we need is 1520 but what we provide is 1570 so the value of this is the reduction factor in fyd so 1520 a square millimeter divided by 1571 a square millimeter times fyd which is 435 megapascal so it means that if the stress or if the bending moment reaches to 250 then the stress in the reinforcement will not reach to 435 instead it will reach to something around 421 this is important especially for the uh, anchorage length calculation usually we go with the maximum capacity but this is the point that we can reserve some uh, some capacity for for later use or if we are dealing with a renovation and we want to check if the uh, structure will stand the new loads or new regulation that's that's how it works that was the end of this example we went through the designing of tensile reinforcement for a concrete beam uh, by neglecting the effect of compressive reinforcement in this example we wrote also a matcat code and uh, how we need to write in a code and how we can deal with the code uh, how many reinforcement do we need and uh, other things thank you for watching see you next time bye